Hi folks, it's Brent with the Downing Group. This week we're gonna talk about our homeowners associations a bad thing. So, welcome back to our channel. This week I thought I would just touch on a subject that is can be a, a real firestorm for some people, and that is living in a homeowners association, is that a bad thing or a good thing? And let me just tell you, it depends. Depends on what you're wanting from where you live. Um, you know, real briefly, the pros and cons are as follows, uh, as I see it anyway. The pros are is usually there's more uniformity in your subdivision. Um, you know, there's there's restrictions that, that say what how big of a house can be built. There's rules and regulations and all that. Um, it, it does tend to protect the property values in a subdivision. Um, and, um, you know, there's um, potential social interaction with people in your neighborhood more so than if you just live out in the country by yourself. And then the last thing I see in terms of a pro is uh, the services that you get, whether it's a community pool or, you know, someone Hi, you know, somebody's going to be appointed to be the president of the HOA, the Homeowners Association, and the, um, you know, there will be people that take care of the landscaping in the neighborhood and things like that that you don't have to do. You can pitch in and volunteer to do. So, you know, uniformity, property value protection, um, potential social functions, and um, then the services. The, as far as the cons go, you know, if you're one of those that, you know, Ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do on my property. HOAs are, are probably not gonna be for you because they're gonna tell you, <clears throat> excuse me, what time you need to have the trash cans put in by. You can't park your car in the yard um, or on the street for that matter. Usually they're all different, but um, you know there are there are restrictions, and you will be legally bound by those restrictions if you buy in that neighborhood. I've had people claim that their agent didn't tell them that there was an HOA and, you know, so they shouldn't have to follow the rules. I'm sorry, that's not the case. There is a restriction put on that property that's recorded at the courthouse that is enforceable by law and, and uh, or, you know, contractually, I guess, and by law. Um, and, you know, there's also dues. You have to usually pay um, dues every month or every year or every quarter, however the HOA does that. So, you know, there's there are pros and cons to them. Make sure that, um, you know, if that's a sensitive subject for you, make sure that your agent has, um, you know, gotten that due diligence underway with the seller and so forth. So um, if we can help you in any way with any other real estate needs, any questions, Feel free to DM us on our Facebook page or call me on my cell or email me at my personal email address. Have a great week.